Imagine you have to bake a pie just like how your grandmother baked it. So what do you do? You open the family recipe book which is passed down to you. Now you have all the instructions to bake a pie in this one book filled with a lot of information. Similarly, DNA is information. Think of DNA as a collection of cookbooks that contain all the recipes for making and running living things like worms, plants, birds and us humans. These recipes determine your height, your eye and your hair color and tell your body to have two arms and two legs instead of branches and leaves. Your DNA is the cookbook of you. Today let's discuss everything about DNA, what it is, how it looks and what it does in our body. So firstly, what exactly is DNA? DNA is nothing but a giant molecule. Now you may think, how can it be a giant and a molecule? So let me tell you, it's giant because it's actually 6 feet long. If all your DNA were put end to end, it would stretch up to the sun and back 3 times. DNA is just its common name. Its proper full name is deoxyribonucleic acid. Did you know every human being shares 99.9% .9 of their DNA with other human beings? And only 0.1% of DNA is unique to us. So, despite all the physical differences, we as humans are more similar than different. Now, what does the DNA look like? Physically, it actually looks like a twisted spiral ladder. You know those really cool ladders that go round and round? And just like those ladders have side rails and steps, DNA has sugar phosphate molecules as side rails and small chemical bases arranged in pairs as steps. They are like a jigsaw puzzle and only fit with their partners. A and T, that is adenosine and thymine, always go together, while C and G, cytosine and guanine, fit together. These pairings keep happening in the DNA until we get a giant molecule DNA. It has lots and lots of sequences of these base pairings and some short sequences have a special code which makes special proteins. These special sequences that have a code to make proteins are called genes. So genes are just short sequences of DNA that have the ability to make these proteins and these genes are something that carry information about you. It can tell you if you have brown eyes or blue eyes. Now what does a DNA do? DNA is the most important code in our body acting like an instruction manual telling our bodies how to develop and function. Our bodies are made up of almost 30 trillion cells. These cells are so tiny that they cannot be seen with the naked eye. Every cell has a special function to do like some cells help us hear, some cells help digest food, some help carry oxygen etc. Our body contains over 200 different types of cells. But how do the cells know what to do? It is our DNA or like we know as the instruction manual that tells each cell what to do. Do you remember I said DNA molecules are long? They are 6 feet long. So they can't fit into cells without the right packaging, right? To fit inside cells, DNA is coiled tightly to form structures called chromosomes. Each chromosome contains a single DNA molecule wrapped tightly around a protein called histone. Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes inside each cell's nucleus. Just imagine how much DNA is present in our body. This instruction manual is passed from one generation to the other and thus DNA is also called the book of life. Let's end this video with a funny comparison. 98.7% of your DNA is similar to that of a chimpanzee and 40% of your DNA is similar to that of a banana. Isn't that crazy? If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Let's Shoot for more such content. See you next time.